Now, it has been like <laughs> this week has started off crazy. Sora came into Smash. My birthday was yesterday. A lot happened. I turned 21. A lot has happened. Today is a good fucking day, bro. Today's a good fucking day. Sora came into Smash. Now I know the video's not I know the video is not about Sora and it's about it's about Tokyo's revenge. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just so fucking happy I gotta say it. <laughs> but no, what's up, y'all? We're gonna go ahead. CJ the champ uploaded another video. Tokyo Revengers Black Air Force Energy the Anime 2. Now I know he uploaded the first one, but I never watched the first one because I never watched Tokyo Revengers at the time. And I told myself I wanted to. But now, since I've watched Tokyo Revengers and I finished it about like last week. Um, I'm gonna watch the first one on my own, but I'm gonna watch the second one right here. So, we're gonna just go ahead and just jump right on into it. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, yeah. <laughs> let's, just, let's just go. Let's just go right on into it, man. I'm having a good-ass week. So, hold on. Oh, volume is low as fuck. Jesus. All right, let's go. So, they say, you know, a scooter rolls, bro. So, they all just started blasting. And look at them. They all smiling. And homie right here just wants to smoke. Look at dude with the mask, bro. This nigga said, fuck a pandemic. I'm beating your ass. And both these dudes tried to team up on him, but he, he just nonchalantly just <laughs> cracked his skulls. Yo, this man is a definition of not giving a f <laughs> Nah, but the, but like this anime, though, the niggas are fighting, though. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for us to return to the round table of Black Air Force activity. And today's gonna be a very, very special video because it is finally time for us to return to Tokyo Revengers. Or should I call it <clears throat> Black Air Force Energy the Anime. Niggas getting dropped, getting beat the fuck up, gang violence, home invasion, nigga, you name it. So last time we did exhibit A, and that was episodes 1 through 15. A, and I said when the season ends, I'll do exhibit B, and then I'll add a representative to the round table of Black Air Force activity. And well, uh, it's about that time. So let me go ahead and give that one. If you have not seen Tokyo Avengers episodes 16 through 24, you may not want to watch this video because you will be spoiled. Well, I, or, I mean, if you Luckily, I finished. I don't know what exhibit A is, but... We gonna figure out the other ones. Don't care. Then strap the skin in because we about to get into this shit. So without further ado, <clears throat> Exhibit B. So last time we left off, this man Baji was beating the shit out of his vice captain. So Takamichi's like, all right, bro, why are you doing this? Why are you turning your back on your own hood, bro? So apparently Kazutora has a grudge against Tomen. So we get a flashback all the way to 03. So everybody's just chilling and riding their bike right. And yo, this man Mikey's just like, you know, chilling on his moped and shit like, <laughs> bro. I love how the most savage person in this show is literally just cruising on a moped right now. And look at dude, he like, why are you shitting on my moped, dog? This is my street hawk, nigga. So then this other gang pulls up. They look like some whole ass grown men out here harassing middle schoolers. So this dude's like, all right, bro, I'm about to smash your little bitch made ass moped, nigga. But then Mikey gives him this death stare. He's like, lay one finger on this shit and see what happens to your ass. And he just stared down a whole ass grown nah, man. So he that's what I'm saying, because they was, they was, um... They was 12 around this age. And this man gave him a old ass fucking stare. Was like, nigga, come, 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 touch my round. See what's gonna happen. See what's gonna happen. And Mikey at this age was not playing either. He backs off, but look at his head, bro. Look at his demeanor. He acting tough and shit right now, but in his mind, he's like, ah, uh, hell no. This little nigga about to run my shit. I best could daddle. So they dip, but they like, if we see you again, we gonna jump your ass. And then look at Baji, bro. He like, what you wanna do, y'all? Y'all wanna murder these niggas? Oh my God, dog, you just a kid. And you out here talking about murder. That's what I'm saying. These, these are kids riding motorcycles freely down the street and shit. And like, like, and this nigga just like, you wanna murder them? Yo, what? What? Bro, what? Grown ass men. So then Mikey runs out of gas. So then he's like, listen, bro, I'm trying to go to the beach. So uh, one of y'all niggas about to get to pushing and take my shit to the gas station. So Baji ends up having to push Mikey's moped all the way to the gas station. But he ends up running into that same gang that they saw earlier. So yeah, uh, he ended up getting jumped. So after that, they like, all right, bro, we about to fuck up your moped now. But then as he's about to break it, Baji steps in and takes the hit. And he's like, y'all niggas ain't about to fuck up my nigga Mikey's moped now. So right before this man Baji's about to get jumped again, this man Mikey pulls up and he's like, hey, bro, I Got my swim trunks. So then this dude kicks his kicks own the moped fucking, down. Yeah, I was like, huh? 
Then he turns around and he's like, yeah, y'all niggas got some nerve come with my shit, huh? And then man's like, hey. Nah, hold on, I'm curious. When Mikey kicked his foot down right there, am I the only one who thought he was, like, he kicked his foot like, oh, he finna jump that nigga. Nah, he jumped his moped. Hey, hold on, bro, you fucked up your old moped. But then Mikey just caught his shit. shit. Sent this grown ass man flying. Like, bro, imagine getting knocked out by a child. You a grown ass man and you got knocked out by a fucking kid. Bro, look at. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just peeped this. No, imagine getting knocked out by a child. You a grown ass. Look at his face. Look at his face. Out of all the reactions, look at his face. He look like, damn, homie, you got knocked the fuck out. This man, and you got knocked out by a Kid. Nigga, you an embarrassment to your hood. Like, bro, don't ever show your face again. Well, yeah, they was running grown men's fades at like the age of 12. So later on, Kazutor and Baju just riding down the street and they're like, hey, yo, we gotta get Mikey a birthday present. So Kazutor suggests we should get Mikey that bike that he always wanted. So Baju's like, all right, bro, how we gonna get the bike? And Kazutor says, we're stealing it. These niggas about to rob the bike shop. And look at him, bro. It's like he's done this shit before. Little niggas only in middle school and is already an expert in breaking and entering. Look at them. They got the pliers and shit. So then they get it loose and they're like, all right, bro, let's roll this shit out. So while Kazutor goes to check the front, Baji just realizes there's a person still left in the shop. So he notices them and he's like, hey, we getting robbed? And he got a wrench and everything. He ready to clock that shit. So while Baji's panicking, he looks at him and he realizes that he knows this person. But while they're talking, this man Kazutor comes out of nowhere and collects his shit with the pliers. He cracked him in the temple with the smoke. Oh, it's crazy too. He just did that and didn't even hesitate. He hit him in the head. I mean, of course, you know, a lot of people like aim for the head. Something that Thor doesn't know, but we ain't talking about that right now. It, but he just clocks this nigga shit. All on his face. And that man is just flat out dead. And then Baji's are like, ah, shit. We f***ed up. Because the man that Kazutor just killed is Mikey's Mike. brother. <laughs> While trying to steal a bike for his birthday, they end up breaking into his brother's bike shop. Trying to steal his bike that he was going to give Mikey for his birthday. And he killed him. God damn, bro. And man is losing it right now. He's like, it's all Mikey's fault. I need to kill nah, Mikey. Nah, yeah. That, that, this right here, this right here is what made me hate Kazutora right here. Because I'm thinking like, fuck you mean it's Mikey's fault. Mikey never said, hey, y'all, he never said, anybody in his crew, can y'all get me a bike? Y'all thought, hey, I'm gonna steal a bike. And then, he, and, and, but the crazy part is, it was his brother's shop. You can't get mad at Mikey, bro. What the f? What? what? How does that make any sense? That's what I'm you just clocked his brother upside the head, basically just killed the nigga, and you're saying it's Mikey's fault. <laughs> Yo, this nigga's a lost cause. So then they get arrested, and, and then they see Mikey. Oh, my God, bro. This is just tragic. And look at him. Kill. Kill. Oh, hell no, yo. This nigga's batshit crazy. So Baji didn't get locked up because Kazutora defended him. So Baji joins Valhalla, and they tell Takamichi, all right, go ahead, tell that nigga Mikey this, that on October 31st, we running y'all shit. So the day before the fight, Takamichi ends up running into Shifuyu, the person that Baji was beating the hell out of earlier. And he tells Takamichi that there's a reason why Baji went to Valhalla, and it's because of Kisaki. So apparently this Steve Urkel ass nigga has been plotting the whole time, because we already know in the future, the reason why everything goes bad is because of this dude. So they do some investigating and they figure out that this man is running the whole show. Like y'all remember Osunai, the nigga that got knocked the fuck out by the Mikey 2000 roundhouse? Apparently Kisaki was the one who put him in power. And bruh, just look at him, bro. This nigga look dusty as fuck. How did he go from looking like this to this? So they end up putting the puzzle pieces together and they figured out that Kisaki is the one that is basically leading Valhalla as well. And he's pulling the strings from both sides. Yo, this man on a Palpatine type B. God damn. Homie is dead as leading a whole war and is basically leading both sides. So he can have power at the end of it all. Hey, hey, I mean, that's kind of smart, but uh, you ain't my nigga Palpatine though. Hey, but you could try, you could try. So right before the fight, Takamichi goes back to the future to ask Draken some more questions. And he figures out that Mikey is supposed to be the leader of All Hollow. And the whole organization was made for him to lead. And he figures out that he has to stop Mikey from killing Kazutora because uh, Mikey's gonna put that nigga six feet under.
and if Mikey catches a body, then everything's gonna go to shit. So now it's the day of the fight, and all these other niggas from gangs came to watch this shit. Like it's a whole spectacle or something. Hey, hey, but hold I- Hold on, hold on, hold on, what theme is that? And if Mikey catches a body, then everything's gonna go to shit. So now it's the day of the fight, and all these other niggas from gangs came to watch this shit. Like it's a whole spectacle or something. Hey, hey, but I can't cap. Some of these niggas- I'm sorry, that, that theme had me turn- I'm like, hey. It's dripping though. Look at the fence. And this big ass nigga right here made sure to bring snacks. Like that nigga got whack Donalds. Yo, you see the W? Yo, if you flip the M, you get a W. Yo, it's whack Donalds. Yo, devil is a part timer. Yo. God damn, how many Big Macs did you get, nigga? And he got a whole nother bag. So then this dude walks up and he's God like, damn, that nigga do got damn, a lot of Big Macs. He got all those Big Macs a drink. Oh, bro, the bag's not even, bro. How many big, the big, the bag is almost full. Max, did you get, nigga? And he got a whole nother bag. So then this dude walks up and he's like, all right, both of y'all niggas ain't shit. Just letting y'all know that right now. And I guess he's supposed to be the referee. So what is this, like the NCAA for delinquents? Is this supposed to be like a regulated fight? So then he's like, all right, y'all bring out your team captains. <laughs> Yo, they really out here like it's a whole ass game. They got flags and everything. I'm surprised they didn't bring the band to play the fight song. This is a goddamn delinquent national championship. So he's like, all right, bro, what the fuck y'all want to do? Y'all want to do a five on five or a whole ass all out brawl? <laughs> like, nigga, Yo, five on five? So we having like a whole ass tag team match? But then Kazutora's like, man. Man, if you don't shut the fuck up, this is a gang fight. You think we doing rules? Now that right there made sense from him. This that shit. was probably the only thing that made sense. It, then just cracks the ref in the face. And then just punched him in the gut for good measure. So then bruh's like, what is all this bullshit? Overseeing a fight, conditions. What y'all niggas wanna do, playhouse or some shit? Nah, nigga, fuck all that bullshit. We came to box out sorry asses. So they say, you know, screw the rules, bruh. So they all just started blasting. And look at them, they all smiling. And homie right here just want the smoke. Look at that nigga is crazy. That smiling nigga, he just smiles to the whole show. He was like, yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, dog, nigga, you crazy. Dude with the mask, bro. This nigga said, fuck a pandemic. I'm beating your ass. And both these dudes tried to team up on him, but he, he just nonchalantly just cracked his skulls. Yo, this man is a definition of not giving a f Ooh, and look at the little rat pay on his ass. Still not forgetting what your little red ass did, nigga. But hey, hey, I'll let it slide because you beating this nigga's ass. Oh, it's Shifuri with a nice drop kick. So while everybody's boxing, Takamichi just standing there like a dumbass, like, uh, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Then he ends up getting his shit rocked. So then Misio comes and saves him. He's like, hey, bro, get, get your head in the game. You're going to be six feet under when this shit is over. So Kazutora is coming in to swing on Mikey, but Draken stops him. And he's like, uh, 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 we're doing this JRPG style. You got to beat the sub boss before you fight the main boss. But then Hanma's lanky ass comes oh, yeah. over and boops Draken's ass like 10 feet. Like, damn, boy, you got a strong ass foot. Size 13 having ass boy. So then Mikey and Kazutora finally face off. And Kazutora is like, yeah. I've been waiting for this day, boy. I've been dreaming of this ever since I clocked your little dumbass brother upside the head. And then look at Mikey, bro. He like, all right, bro, bring it on with your little banana peel head ass. So while they're facing off, Takamichi still like, yo, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> over here shitting bricks. So then Shifuyu comes over and he's like, hey, bro, I know you scared, but you're going to have to go some balls. So Takamichi ends up playing the nigga out. Yeah, and then he actually started fighting. I actually committed him. I was like, finally, this nigga fighting. Oh, oh, oh. Boy, rock that nigga shit. But, but, but then, but then. Yeah, he got just again, just yeah. again. Hey, hey, but at least he fighting now. So Drake is out here boxing with Lanky Bro. Ooh, he gave him that signature DBZ gut punch. But then Hanma sticks his goons on Draken. So it's not looking good for Tolman right now. Like, they're, they're outnumbered and they're getting their asses beat. And now Draken's about to get jumped. But then Takamichi comes in. What the f is my nigga doing? <laughs> oh my god, what the f but Fuck apparently, yeah. bruh just gave everybody in Tolman a whole morale boost. So Draken starts stretching. He's like, I've been waiting for this day. I've been watching Naruto 24-7. <laughs> I've been waiting for the day when I can recreate Madara versus the Shinobi Alliance. So this man just starts running wild on a whole Madara team. <laughs> just cracking everybody's skull one after another. Catching bodies on bodies on bodies. Hey, and they yo. like... Nah, that nigga, nah, Draken is literally, literally top three best characters in the fucking show. Literally. That nigga be going crazy. That nigga literally goes crazy. Draken is literally one of my favorite characters in the show. Like, that man is loyal as... That man is loyal as fuck. That man can fight. Like, like remember the fucking motorcycle game? He was holding his own... I mean, he was getting he was getting beat up, but there was so many niggas. But at the same time, he held his ground against so many niggas. 
Like, come on. Oh, no, hell no, nah, nigga. I didn't sign up for this. And bro, he literally laid look everybody out cold. And look at him, bro. He's like, yeah. Man, he next my warm ass boy. And look at bro. He enjoying this shit. He like, yeah, baby. Let's, let's dance, dance, nigga. <laughs> Damn. Bro, he sent that nigga flying at least 50 yards. And look at Takamichi. He's like, damn, bro. I didn't know this nigga was that OP. Yo, all this man's stats are just maxed out. So then Mikey's out here chasing out Kazuto, and he's like, quit running, you banana peeled ass bitch. But he leads him into a hole trap, and Mikey ends up getting jumped by both their captains. But it don't matter because you still like work. Y'all niggas ain't shit. But they end up getting a hold of Mikey, and this man Kazuto comes from the top rope and collapses his shit with that steel pipe. My boy Mikey is down for the count. Or so we thought because my niggas. First of all, how the fuck are you able to survive a full head on swing from a steel pipe? To just get up like how Mikey did. still got up. And then this man Kazutor just starts monologuing. He says, I went to juvie because of you. I suffered because of you. If a person kills someone, they're a bad guy. But if you kill your enemy, you're a hero. And everybody's like, what the f is this nigga on? This nigga must have snorted like two lines before the battle started. Then this man Hama's like, batshit crazy, am I right? Nah, nigga, you ain't lying. So then they hold him down and he's like, don't let him go. I'm about to beat the shit out this nigga. So he just starts hitting him with a steel pipe over and over and over again. And everybody's like, damn, bro. Damn. You going a little too far, my nigga. And look at old dude, bro. He like, damn. That nigga really got that shit. And look at him, bro. He's like, I'm going to become a hero by killing my enemy. He smacks him again. Bro, bro, what the f*** is you on? So while Mikey's being held down, he's like, kill your enemy. Is that why you killed my brother? See, th th that's the crazy part. That's the crazy part. That's the crazy part. This nigga just was like, what? Fuck you talking about? You kill my brother. Literally, the dude holding him behind hits him with his head. The same head that's getting hit with a steel pipe. Like, what? So while Mikey's being held down, he's what? like, kill your enemy. Is that what? why you killed my brother? Well, this man headbutts dude, then picks this man up Go with, with his leg. Oh, come on, dog. Oh, my, my God. God. No, no, no. I'm done. I'm done. I'm waving it that off. That nigga is. I'm seeing enough. That come on, insert. Take your seat. That, Get yeah, real. Instantly. Instant. Instant. He, he, he's definitely on the round table. Most definitely. After that shit, yeah. Comfortable. Bro, we ain't even done yet, and I could end we're the video right like here off of just video. that. This dude literally picked up his leg with another nigga on At it, ease. then flung it and knocked both of them out cold. What? Double KO, actually triple KO, because the other nigga knocked the fuck out down there too. But then after with that, the same head that got hit was still pipe. Multiple times! It's out of gas. So, bro can't even move right now. So, then all of Valhalla's like, all right, bro, let's go jump this nigga. So, Takamichi's trying to rush up there to stop him, but he's gonna be too late. So, right when Mikey's about to get clapped, Steve Urkel comes out of the woodworks and clocks, homie. Deadass made the. Uh, I know damn well you ain't never just called Kisaki. Steve Urkel. It clapped. Steve Urkel comes out of the woodworks and plots, homie. Deadass made the nigga spin like a damn Beyblade. So Kisaki's up here trying to defend Mikey, and we all know this is bad. Homie's finally putting his plan into work. Takamichi's like, no, this can't be happening. And everybody's like, good job, Kisaki. And even Draken, bro. Oh my god. So Takamichi's like, no, guys, this shit can't be happening. Do not believe this nigga has good intentions. But while he's standing up there, somebody's coming and it's Baji and he sneaks his ass. Clocked him upside his head. And bro is just knocked out. And look at Baji, bro. He like, yeah, nigga. I'm about to fuck your face up so goddamn bad. Your mom won't even be able to recognize your little ugly ass. But then he gets thrown by Kisaki's vice commander. Kisaki's like, all right, bro. Swat that nigga dead. So Chifuyu tries to stop Baji, but uh, Baji just cracked that nigga in the skull. So then Takamichi comes in. And he's like, stop this, bro. This ain't you. We know why you're doing this shit. But while Takamichi's trying to stop Baji, this man Kazutor comes out of nowhere and shanks his ass. And he pushed it in. Oh my god. You rotten banana peeled ass bitch. And then he's like, die, Baji. What did he do? This a nigga. Baji didn't do shit. It's crazy because they both wanted to get a bike. They both wanted to get a bike for Mikey. Right? This man, Kazutora, killed Mikey's brother. Baji was like, that's Mikey's brother. Baji would have went to Juvie, but didn't because Kazutora defended him. Now, Baji. Like, and then, like, bro, get the- I was trying to help you. And you just stabbed him in his back. 
But Kazutori is, is a lost cause at this point. So then Takamichi just trucks him. But then this man, Baji, is still standing up like... Yeah, when he was still standing, he said... He, you know what that nigga just said? He said, that's a scratch. I was like, what? Nothing happened. And look at him, bro. He's just staring down an entire army, army on a hill. hill. So he puts his hair back. And he's Holy like, bring it on, nigga. So he just runs at him just and just beat the shit out of everybody. Out. It is a 50 to 1, and this nigga is cracking everybody's shit. This man is dead ass laying out an entire division with just a steel pipe. And look at him, bro. He is having fun while doing this. So while like, injured oh, at the same time. Stop this nigga. But he ends up sneaking his guard and just holds up Kisaki in under like a minute. So while Baji's about to finish the job, my nigga bled out. And our boy Baji is down for the count, bro. And look at this nigga Kisaki. He knows he planned this shit, you conniving ass bitch. So Mikey wakes up and he sees that Baji has bled out. And bro is like, Megaly pissed. So Mikey walks up to Draken and Hanma. And he's like, the fight is already over. But Hanma's like, hey, bro, the fight ain't over yet. You ain't get to decide that shit. So Mikey looks at him. He's like, sit your little lanky ass down. Then he says, there. He caused him to have a seizure. Sit your Look at his mouth. Oh my God, this nigga is dangerous. Put a little lanky ass down. Then he says, there, it's over. Dog, 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 bro, bro. Mikey is literally bred different. Dog literally walked up to him and said, the fight is over because he knew he was about to knock his ass out. And look at him, bro. He knocked him out so hard, his ass cheeks are spazzing out. Oh! So everybody in Valhalla just splits like, bro, it is over. And I love how all this even happened is because this nigga's just instigating shit. Bro was like, yeah, Kazutora's definitely got some screws loose. I see. He brought Baji into Valhalla so he could finish him off himself. So you should beat that nigga's ass. <laughs> Yo, somebody signed this man up for the Hood Olympics. So then Mikey walks up to Kazutora and Kazutora's like, all right, let's end this. Either you die or I die. And Mikey's just looking at him like, is this nigga serious? So yeah, bro, he just started rolling on that nigga. He hit that nigga like 10 he yards. And then bro just took he just sat, he slowly walked up to him, just slowly sat on him and was like, I'm finna dead ass kill your ass, nigga. I'm finna dead ass murk your shit. Top mountain. Nigga, nigga, it's over. God damn. He's beating the piss out of his ass. Even the nigga that be smiling all the time is like, still oh, you gonna kill that nigga. While Kazutora's Torres getting the absolute shit beat out of his ass, he remembers why he stabbed Baji. He got a phone call from Hanma saying that Baji was a traitor. And you know, damn well, uh, the nigga that probably set up that phone call uh, was Steve Urkel's ass. Yo, this nigga stay plotting. So then somehow this man Baji is still up and moving on his feet. So then he goes over to Kazutora and he's like, hey, bruh. Don't blame your death on me. So he just said, f it and just killed himself. God, bro. Man actually offed himself so he wouldn't have to blame old dude for his death. Oh, Jesus Christ. So then Kazutora's dumbass walks up to him. He's like, you're next. You two can go to hell together. This man Mikey looking at his crazy ass like, Shut the fuck up. So while Baji's dying, he literally just spills everything. Like, yeah, bro, that nigga Kisaki's behind everything. The man is behind the fight with Mobius. Right after Pa went to jail, he went up to Mikey to become the third division captain in exchange for getting Pa out of jail. Like, nigga, this up next level ass plotting. So Baji says his last words, and he's like, all right, y'all, I'm out this hoe. So, uh, that nigga about to kick the bucket. Damn, dog, he didn't even betray his hood. He was a real nigga the whole time. So Mikey just loses it and just starts beating shit out of Kazutori. So Takamichi's like, ah, shit, bro. I gotta stop this nigga because if I don't, the future's gonna go to crap. So he obviously can't fight Mikey. So he's like, all right, I'm gonna have to resort to one of the most overpowered techniques in anime history, used by the seventh Hokage himself, talk no jutsu. So this man tries to talk no jutsu Mikey, but damn. Oh, <laughs> Mikey did not give a fuck. He was like, nigga, I don't care if you are really close to me. I will clock your shit. I will kill you. Rock his shit like that. And he's like, move, boy. I'm going to kill your ass. But then this charm falls out of his pocket. And then Mikey gets hit by that flashback, no jutsu. So then he's like, ah, f*** it. It ain't worth it. So then the cops are coming, so everybody got to get to stepping. So then Kazutora is like, all right, to atone for my sins, I'm going to stay here and get locked the fuck up again. So damn, bro. This nigga literally just got out of juvie just to get locked up again. Well, uh, at least uh, he's trying to learn how to better himself this time. So, uh, good luck and, uh, don't drop the soap. So later on, after that whole fight went down, they end up having a whole nother meeting and Valhalla ends up merging with Toman because, uh, you guessed it, this nigga. But somehow, someway, Takamichi ends up getting promoted to first division captain 
Hey, hey, bro, even though this dude can't even throw like no hands, I gotta admit, this man got some crazy ass durability. Like, dude can take a ass whooping. So Takamichi's like, all right, let me go check out how the future is now. See if it changed a little bit. So this man goes back to the future and he spawns back into the dusty ass blockbuster. But the thing is, he ain't working there no more. That man is dripped the f out in his a whole ass hey. Yakuza boss. Hey. Bro, they picking up man's hey. in a whole ass Rolls hey. Royce hey. and hey. all his niggas okay, with him bitch. too. Hey, yo, all them niggas hey. eating. So Chifu. That nigga did get dripped out. That nigga had the slick, the slick hair back. That nigga had the watch. That nigga had the black outfit dripped out. That nigga had a limo. That nigga had friends who dripped out too. Stop playing with him. That man was going crazy. Nah, let's go back to Spawns back into the dusty ass blockbuster. But the thing is, that nigga said, he ain't working there no more. That, that said, man is dripped the f out in his a whole ass Yakuza boss. Bro, they picking up man's in a whole ass Rolls Royce and all his niggas with him too. Hey, yo, all them niggas eating. So Chifuyu and Takamichi got to go to this meeting. And this is where we could tell, uh, some ain't right, cause half of these dudes ain't even the original members of Toman. Some of them are from an ex gang called the Black Dragons, and Hanma's lanky ass is there too. And they talking because somebody is a rat. So Takamichi's like, "All right, bro, what the fuck is going on?" So then Kisaki pulls up and he's like, "Hey, bro, let me take y'all back to my crib and I'm gonna give y'all a drink real quick." So they go to this dude's penthouse and then he starts talking to him. So then he says. What do you think about me? Around this time 12 years ago, Baji died. And he drops it, I'm the one that planned Bloody Halloween. I formed Valhalla and made them clash with Toman. So then he's out here apologizing for everything that he did. So then he's like, have a drink, y'all. So while they toast, peep how he doesn't take one sip. So then this man goes over to the window and starts looking out of it. And then he says, when I said I didn't think Baji would die earlier, yeah. That's a lie. I used that nigga Kazutora to kill Baji, and I'm about to finish what I started. So yeah, uh, he done laced the drinks. So then Takamichi wakes up, and they are tied up and strapped down onto a chair. So then Kisaki's like, you had a nice nap, nigga? So then he's like, yeah, I know you a rat for you. You've been trying to get my ass ever since I killed Baji. So then he pulls out the Glock. He's like, Takamichi, why you ain't said shit? Then he pops his ass in the leg. Damn, bro. So then he puts a Glock up in Chifuyu's head and he's like, any last words before I put your ass six feet under? So then Chifuyu reveals that in this timeline, Mikey disappeared and Draken was executed and Toman just went to crap. So then he says, everything's in your hands now, partner. Damn! Nigga popped a cap in his ass. Blew my nigga Chifuyu's brains out, dog. And then he puts the Glock up to Takamichi. Bro, this man is a madman. Look at him. He like, say something, nigga. So then he sheds a tear and he's like, see ya, my hero. Then wow, bro. That is how you do a cliffhanger. All right, so, uh, yeah. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do this. Because damn near everybody in. And it's crazy, too, because that cliffhanger was like, like, Yo, like what I think happened on that cliffhanger was uh, uh, what was his name? Naito, uh, Hinata's uh, wait, Hinata, wait, was that her name? It was, it started with, I think it was Hinata. Or, it was some girl, the girl whose name started with an H. I forgot her name. I feel like it was Hinata. The point is, like, I feel like her brother came in and shot Kisaki. I don't know. This show got Black Air Force energy, dog. I already added Mikey before the video even ended. And if I add more than two, then that's not gonna be enough space for all the other people that I need to add later. All right, so I've come down to it. I'm gonna have two representatives from this show. Mikey, and I'm gonna have to give it to Draken, because that nigga a Thank menace. Thank you. I, guess I was like, you gotta add, you gotta add, come on. So our honorary members is like everybody else, especially Kazutora and Baji, because that banana peeled ass nigga ain't even an adult yet, and he been locked up twice. So yeah. That was Tokyo Revengers. Hell, if they I come out with season two, I might make Black Air Force Energy the anime three. Hey, but I'll be honest, I might end up reading the manga low key. But anyways, y'all I need to find the I, manga. I'm out to hope. I, can't, I can't find the manga for some reason. Like, I'm trying to find the manga for this, but I can't find it for some reason. So, cause I, 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 I dead ass need to see. Uh, I dead ass need to see what, uh, what happens. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be it. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be it because. Uh, yeah, shit. This this anime is um, this anime is definitely crazy. But hopefully you guys enjoy, man, and um, y'all take care of yourselves. I'm naughty.